What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing the brand new flashback SBC and it is going to be Aguero. How unexpected, but at the same time, he looks like an insane card. Now obviously he is currently going for around 400 than 50,000 coins and you can actually pick up the gold card for 40k. So... Is it going to be worth it? Let's obviously find out. Let's see how good this card really is. Compared to the gold card, he's got a minus 2 on overall, but he has got a plus 10 to his pace, a plus 2 to dribbling, he's got a minus 5 to shooting, a plus 3 to defending, plus, three, uh, plus 1 sorry, to physicals, and a minus 2 to passing. So just looking at those stats, compared to the gold card, he should technically be better. Because of that pace, I felt like that was a main problem that I, when I was reviewing the gold card, I had. I had to slow down the play way, way too often. And he still ended up still getting an 8.5 out of 10. So I'm expecting this card to at least get like an 8.7, an 8.8, .8, and maybe even push into an 8.9. Now he is 5 for 8. He has got high medium work rates, which are the perfect striker work rates. 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. I have got a Hawk Kemp style on him. He is on 10 Kemp. The reason I've gone for a Hawk and not like a Hunt or anything like that is because I honestly feel like he doesn't need it. And with the Hunter Kemp style, you only get plus 5 to his shot power. While obviously with a Hawk, you get that plus 10, which is 10 times better. With the Gold card, I actually gave it a Hunter as well. Now he's got 98 acceleration and 89 sprint speed. When it comes down to shooting, he's got 94 attacking positioning, 95 finishing, 94 shot power, 89 long shots, 81 volleys with the 76 penalty. Does he have any shooting traits? He does not, which is kind of a surprise. I would have thought, you know, Aguero of how good he is at finishing. He would have ha at least had like a, I don't know, a finesse shot trait, but apparently EA did not give him one. Now, when it comes down to passing, it's still pretty decent. He's got 81 short passing, 62 long passing, 81 curve and 81 vision. So what I'm expecting him to do is obviously the short passes, the first line passes. But when it comes down to overtopping the ball, I doubt he is going to be able to do it dribbling he's got 90 agility 93 balance 92 reactions 91 ball control 90 dribbling with the 85 composure this guy is going to feel insane on the ball physical stats he's got 84 stamina 78 strength 74 aggression 89 jumping with the 85 heading accuracy heading is not bad Especially for like a 5-8 player, I doubt he's going to win the header. But if he does actually get towards the header, he will most, like, he most likely put it into the back of the net. Strength and aggression, by the way, is actually pretty decent as well. Now, when it came down to links, I've gone for Sozoko and Rodriguez. I've also got like Sir Allen, Dembele and Adama Traore in this team. I will be playing Aguero in a 4-4-2 in that striker position. And that's the only position I will be trying him in today. So let's get into the games. So when it comes down to dribbling, you can clearly see he feels pretty much exactly the same as his gold card. There's not much of a difference. So Zoko, over to Aguero. Going to play that ball. If you step over, give it back to Aguero. Go for a hill to hill. I could have actually played back Fatty there, which could have been the right option. Let's see his movement. Okay, so Dembele comes in and Aguero actually stays up there. That's pretty decent. That's kind of what happens usually, to be fair. James, to Dembele. To Aguero, can I go for that quick finish towards the near post? And my God, look at the shot power. Look at the accuracy. It absolutely rattled the back of the net. And Oblak had no chance of saving it. Dembele, going to overtop it to Aguero. This is the real test. I could honestly not just do that with the gold card. That was my biggest issue. I should have gone across goal, by the way. But yeah, that was my biggest issue. He always used to get caught up and it used to be so, so annoying. It's a good thing to see. This card is much better at just like running. Allen, over to Fatty, over to Aguero. He'll turn. Oh, that's beautiful. Going to go for the cross goal finish with so much shot power behind the shot. I'm going to be honest. Uh, for me, Oblak 100% should be saving that. But you cannot take anything away from Aguero's finish. Aguero, over to Fatty. Going to over top approval. Take that touch, smack and a cross goal finish, and this time Oblak is actually going to save it. And that's interesting because I felt like that angle was way better than the other two. And for some reason, the other two went in, but this one didn't. Fatty on the ball. Is Aguero going to make that running behind? He is going to make that running behind, but Fatty's pass is just not good enough. Fatty, over to Aguero. Come on, use that pace. He seems so much faster than his gold card. It's honestly ridiculous. Like, I had, that's a penalty, I was about to say. 
it, I had so much problems when it came down to pace for that gold card. It was ridiculous. I had to slow down the play. I had to wait for everyone to catch up. Then obviously just pass to them. For this card, for me personally, I can see it running in behind consistently. I can see him outpacing players and it's so much better. But let's see if we can actually get this goal. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to aim, aim top bins. Why not? 76. I'm trying to focus here because the last time I missed a penalty... Let's go, let's go, okay. I've missed a penalty for the past, like, four reviews, so I'm trying to not miss my penalty now, but we do end up getting a goal. 30 on the ball. Aguero once again making that run. I wish he actually turned down there because it would have been 10 times better. Ball roll out. What does he do here? He's still not going to support me. He's going to run in behind. That is disappointing because what he needs to do there is, was literally the opposite of what he actually did. He needed to turn the other way. He didn't need to make that run. I'm going to take him out because why not at the end of the day? I'm probably going to get a red card for that. Let's actually see. Let's see if we get a red card. I didn't want this guy to score. For some reason, I just feel like this... Ah, oh, it's a red card. All right, let's move on. Aguero. Can I play that pass? I can play that pass, but is it going to be perfect? It is not. Fatty. Aguero has made good movement this time. Keep going. Keep running. There you go. Nice pace. RBX across goal. It is going to actually go to Son when I wanted it to Fatty, I believe. And for some odd reason, Son has also missed. Suzuka. Lil Burrow. Give it to Aguero. Go for that cross goal finish and we are going to get another goal with Aguero. I can hands down say his finishing ability is just like that uh, gold card. It's just so, so good. And I believe I gave the gold card a 9.5 out of 10 for shooting. Dembele. Aguero in behind perfectly. I'm just going to turn. I'm just going to go for the finesse shot. I see him bring out the keeper slightly. So I'm just going to take that long shot and make it just go into the back of the net perfectly. No power needed. All accuracy. Dembele. Once again, Aguero just seeing where the centre back has pushed out slightly out of position. Going in behind and getting us a free kick. Dembele. Over to Aguero. Boys, we're going to go for it. Oh, that's not the greatest. Let's all be fair. I reckon if he had the finesse shot trait, obviously he'll go way more into the corner. And I do feel like he actually had a chance of going in. Aguero the ball. Going to just give it a little shimmy. Going to get extremely lucky to be fair. Little hill to hill flick. Go for that cross goal finish. Every single time. Have you noticed? Every single time this guy shoots the ball, the keeper probably gets the worst animation I have ever seen. And that is simply because of that shot power. They cannot stop it. I actually love how he feels on the ball. Like, look at it. It's just so clean. You can just do the little twist and turns, play the pass, go for a little ball roll, go for a little finish, if you know what I mean. Oh, that would have been perfect, wouldn't it? So it is time to review him. Four games played, six goals scored with the zero assists. Now, do I feel like this card is better than the gold card? Yes. I honestly feel like the pace was just so much better. The dribbling, I wouldn't say was so much better, was a little bit better. The shooting was pretty much exactly the same. I do feel like the gold card had a slight better to finish but not by much i gave the i believe it was the gold card a 9.5 out of 10 i will most likely give this one a 9.4 out of 10 now when you're talking about the physicals i did see the strength and aggression get used way more on this card than i did on the gold card but that was because on the gold card i had him on a hunter chem style and on this card i do have him on a hawk chem style passing ability as i said was pretty much exactly the same they were just very very similar very inaccurate and all of that stuff 5 for 8, not an issue at all. The high medium work rates allowed him to make those runs in behind as soon as he saw a centre back out of position, which is so perfect it's ridiculous. 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. You know me. You know I'm never going to complain about 4 star, 4 star. Now, when it comes down to pace, as I said, it was much better than the gold card, and I did give the gold card an 8 out of 10 for pace. So for this one, I am going to give him, I would say, an 8.7 and 8.8 .8 out of 10. Shooting ability, very, 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 very similar to the gold card, but slow slightly worse I would say so for shooting I am going to give him a 9.4 out of 10 passing ability short passing is good but it's not insane it's just one of those ones where it could work or it couldn't work you know and the long passing there's no hope there's absolutely no hope so for passing I'm going to give him I would say like a 7.5 7.4 out of 10 dribbling ability he felt better on the ball like, I wouldn't say much better, but he did feel better on the ball. At the start, I believe I said they pretty much feel exactly the same. But then I started to get into it a bit more and I started to realize how more agile this one is compared to the other one like this one is so much more agile on the ball it's ridiculous but at the same time i felt like the ball control the composure the reactions was pretty much exactly the same so for dribbling i am going to give this flashback card i would say an 8.8 .8 out of 10 
physicals, strength and aggression, I did see way more, way, way more. But that was because I've got this one on the Hawk chem style and on the gold card, I actually had a Hunter chem style because obviously the pace was absolutely a liability. So I did see the strength come into play way more often. He was kind of like, I want to say bodying off. I was just like holding off, holding off a lot of center backs, which I love to see. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I would say a 7.7, .7, a 7.8 out of 10. For an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him, he is better than the gold card. So I'm going to give him an 8.8, .8. an 8.8 .8 out of 10, pushing towards that 8.9 out of 10. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.